very good morning students in the previous video i have covered some numerical problem from the chapter motion in one dimension okay now the new chapter which is very very important chapter of the mechanics known as laws of motion what is the significance of this chapter the the chapter previously we have studying that was a motion in one dimension comes under the category of kinematics and quickly understand this the study of uh, the motion and rest uh, of any body it's come under the category of mechanics okay now mechanics have two part kinematics and dynamics in kinematics we only study about the rest or motion will not talk about the cause which uh, behind the rest or motion it means let's a body is moving with uh, some acceleration let's say 9.8 acceleration suppose this chalk is falling down with acceleration 9.8 meter per second square how much height it will cover in 10 second what will be the speed of uh, this chalk after t second all of these factor are studied in the chapter kinematics uh, before motion one dimension but we haven't studied what is the reason behind this acceleration the reason behind this acceleration is the part of the next uh, next we can say category known as dynamics so the laws of motion is a part of dynamics in this section we will study about the cause of motion right why the acceleration is creating that created in that body laws of motion so let's start uh, with the laws of motion the very first topic in this chapter is force what is force what is the basic definition of force in simple words force is uh we can say push or pull if we are pushing the body that means we are applying force away from away from it and if we are pulling the body that means we are applying force toward us that is a push or pull now the important thing is what are the basic effect of the forces okay. although forces found in nature are of four types electromagnetic gravitational strong nuclear and weak nuclear uh, so we will not study these forces because these forces in the class 11th here we'll talk about the effect of force and general category of forces so let's see what are the effect of force when the force is applied on the body okay effects of force first effect when force is applied on the body then force try to change the state of rest or state of motion of the body so this is the first effect what force tends to change the state of rest or state of motion of the body right see here i am not writing that it changes the state of rest or state of motion it just try to change because it is not it is not necessary that i apply some force on a body then that body have to move right suppose i am uh, let's say we are, there is a big trunk and i'm i'm trying to push it right i am pushing it very hard but the, that trunk is not moving because it is it's very heavy right but i'm i'm applying the force so this force try to change the the state of rest right but certainly it doesn't uh, but certainly 
the trunk was uh, was not moving in the second category suppose a car is coming and and you try to stop the car with your hands so when the car is coming towards this side you are applying force away from you that means you are trying to stop that car so it's not quite easy to stop that car with your hands that means you are trying to stop that car you're trying to change the state of motion of that car right it may uh, stop or not so basically force tends to change the state of rest or state of motion of the body okay suppose i am pushing this board right this is at rest right now now push it so it moves right and now pulling my towards myself it again move so here i have applied on the uh, this force on the body and changes its state of rest right suppose uh, i am throwing it throwing throwing my chalk from height now it's coming downwards so while coming downwards at this moment this wall uh, that this chalk was in motion then i've applied a force on it and it gets stopped so this is one effect of force that force can change can change the state of rest or state of motion now let's talk about the another effect of force the second effect of force is force can change the shape or shape and size of an object okay so this is one more effect of force that force can change the shape or size of an object suppose take an example let's take a rubber ball now suppose if we have a rubber ball and you press it you you apply the force on it so what will happen the shape and size of the ball get changed or take a balloon uh, have uh, filled with water right so when you compress it when you compress it from either sides what will happen the shape and size of that balloon get changed so this is and another uh, effect of force so i think you have understand what are the basic forces there's one more effect of force which we can call it turning effect of force this effect is not given in your book but this is also one force which is turning effect of force turning effect of force now what is turning effect of force basically if you apply a force in a particular direction then it it created turning effect of force for example take an example of key and lock when you try to open the lock you have to rotate the key you have to turn the key right then only uh, that lock can be opened when you rotate the steering wheel of the car right then we apply a certain direction the force in certain direction then only that uh, it create a turning effect the door the door can be open only if you apply a force in a particular direction right suppose let's take an example example of this book now i try to open this cover of the book so i have to apply a force in this direction away from it if i apply force toward me is this this uh, force able to open this book no if i push it no if i pull it upward again no if i pull it downward no so that means turning effect only will created when the force is applied in a particular direction that is like this so right so this is one of the important effect of force known as turning effect
turning effect only created when equal amount of force applied on the body on two different points. You can see here, I'm trying to rotate this rod and applying the force on both the ends in different direction. Then only this rod can be rotated. So these are the effect of forces. Now let's talk about some types of forces. Force can be categorized into two types. First, contact force and second, obviously non-contact force. So let's talk about these forces briefly and what are the examples of these forces. Contact force. As the name implies, contact force. That means to apply these kind of forces, physical contact is needed. What will be the definition? The force which applied on the body by making physical contact right so the force which applied on the body by making physical contact comes under the category of contact forces so physical contact is necessary without physical contact we can't transfer the force to the under the body. Let's see some uh, example of this force. The very first example can be taken as friction. Friction can be applied on the body or friction can only act between the bodies. Those are in contact. Suppose there is a, let's say, table and on the table, a box is lying. Okay. Now, when we apply some external force on the block, let's say this is the external force I'm applying on the block, the box, so that this block can move on the table. Now, the table will create and uh, create a force which act on the opposite direction of this force. Let's say this is F. And this force is nothing but friction. Now imagine if this box uh, is not touched with this table. This was lifted in air. So there will be uh, this friction force? No, there will be no friction force between uh, that this box and the table because there is no physical contact between the Docks and the table. See, friction force is not only uh, applicable for the solids, it also acts in gases, or, or, or precisely if I say it also acts in fluid. In fluid, gases and liquid both are, uh, it, it also acts in fluid. Fluid means gases or liquids take an example uh, let's say take a piece of paper when a piece of paper and you uh, drop it from some height what will happen now, let's say this is a piece of paper and i'm uh, falling uh, from some height when it comes down it floats in the air it's not directly uh, fall like this why because air is acting some amount of friction on that paper and that is why it is coming floating in the air then it comes down it means gases also apply friction on the bodies similarly if 
this chalk is chalk is coming down so it's not like that the chalk is not uh, experiencing any acceleration uh, any friction from the air it is also experience experiencing the uh, friction but the weight is uh, chalk is more than the paper so that is why it's come down very quickly but suppose you take the chalk uh, and you or you take take any heavy body and f drop it in water so you'll see that it will go slowly slowly so that force in the liquid the friction force in liquid known as viscosity or viscous force and that viscous force only applicable when the body is in contact with the liquid so i think you understood how why the friction force is the example of contact force let's see one more example second example is normal reaction now what is this again take the example of book and uh, the table suppose there is a book lying on the table now one force the uh, the weight of the body is acting downwards this is the weight of the body w that is equals to mg is acting downward now we have understood that if we have applying a force on certain direction then body is trying try to move in that direction right but this body is stationary that means one force is also act acting in the body which is countering the weight of the body and that force is created by the floor or the table which acts opposite to the weight and known as normal reaction it is denoted by sometime n or sometime r right so this normal reaction only act between this uh, table and the block when this book or that block is in contact with the table now mathematically if this block is stationary then the amount of normal reaction is always equal to the weight of the body this is the another example of the contact force third tension tension is one more important very more uh, tension is one tension is very important example of the contact force suppose we have a load which is connected to a string and string is connected to a rigid support now the again load is acting downward which is nothing but equal to its weight now in order to counter this load counter this force another force must act on the opposite direction so there will be a tension t tension t will only created if this is this string is connected to the load that mean physical contact is needed suppose there is no contact suppose somehow i cut this rope or cut this string what will happen now this load will go down and there will be no tension in the string so these are the examples of the contact force now what will be non contact force obviously non contact force are the forces in which the physical contact is not needed so there are some examples like gravitation magnetic uh, electrostatic these are some forces i will cover this all of these topic in the next video till then thank you so much class